So there's, I'll kind of jump into this. There are two main ways that you can go about um, getting these onto your site so that customers can sign up. Um, you can basically either use Zoho's pre-built widget, which we'll cover, or you can grab either a link or a direct embed for just the payment page if you want to build a page around it to sign up. So I'll walk through the widget and then I'll show you an example of doing it yourself. Um, you know, it, it never hurts to start with the widget, but you can do some kind of better design around things if you do build it out on your own website. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. Oops. So again, from our dashboard here, we'll navigate to products on the left-hand side and get started from there. So each of the products has a widget. So you don't have a widget for an individual plan, you have a widget for a product. And that's, that's where what Brett highlighted earlier becomes important, where if maybe you had a plan on here that was you know, for friends and family, right? And so you want someone to be able to sign up for this friends and family plan directly, but you don't wanna put it on your website, you'd have that unchecked. Um, so now, you know, given that we have our plans here, how we want them, and they're all organized under our product, we can go ahead under the embed widget settings and take a look at what that will be. Um, so as a default, it's always going to come with this nice little purple. Uh, of course, on the left-hand side, we can go ahead and hex code that to whichever color your brand prefers. Um, up here at the top, this monthly and yearly, that's actually part of the widget. So that will appear on your page if you have that turned on. And so, you know, we can, we can take a look at this on a monthly basis as well as on an annual basis. Um, and it's gonna be smart enough here. We'll, we'll look over on the left to know that this is an annual plan or a monthly plan and keep them categorized that way. Um, down here at the bottom under the subscribe button, you see where those products and services actually come in. Um, so that's where, you know, based on whatever we said, each of these gets, it's going to kind of use those check marks and show those off as features of that subscription. Now over here on the left are some of the additional settings. Um, you know, you can choose to group this by frequency. You're pretty much always going to want to have that on so that you have this monthly and annual toggle. Uh, it's kind of the standard way of doing it. But if for whatever reason you did not want to do that, um, you could uncheck that box and kind of create your own groupings. And then down here at the bottom, we can change things like the caption on the price. If you wanted to you know, do a little tagline in there, you can change the button that's actually going to appear on that subscribe page, as well as the button color to set it up so that it matches your brand. Um, so with this, you know, there is this baseline customization. You, know, you can color code it. You can set up your different features. But that's kind of it. So if you have some simple subscription products, this is a great way to do it because it will take you about five minutes to get through here and set up the color coding, grab the code and drop it on your site. Um, you know, once you are ready to actually get it embedded, all you need to do is come up here to the top right and that's going to copy me, it. I also want to point out real quickly, you can also change the template. There's the change template in the upper uh, left hand corner there. And that way you can make it if you don't like it. Uh, you know, vertical like this, you can do a horizontal layout, you can do it with the icon, you can move the icons around. They give you, I think, about seven or eight different choices as far as your overall layout uh, goes on that too. So you also do get a little bit of flexibility with the overall layout. Yep. And then from there, you know, you basically would copy that code and send it over to your web developer to embed on the site. Um, and so that, that kind of represents option one is using those widgets. Now, the second way that we can do this is actually through this share hosted payment page button uh, that pulls up for a specific plan. Um, now, as I go to the next slide, we're actually going to jump into Zenata's subscriptions. It will not pull up the share hosted payment pages unless you have a payment provider uh, integrated. So you have to have a Stripe or, you know, WePay actually plugged in the subscriptions before it will let you grab those. Uh, which kind of makes sense because without one of those providers, someone would not yet be able to sign up. So if we grab one of our example subscriptions here, you know, for a website health check, um, there are two different ways you can pull this out. Um, so one of them is going to be a direct link. So we'll see there the URL down at the bottom. That actually just creates a full web page. So you can grab that link, you can navigate directly to it, and you can subscribe for a subscription directly from here. Um, so one way that we've had people set up subscriptions before is that they'll go ahead and build the UI on their site. And when you click that subscribe button, it does a pop-up, you know, maybe it's an embed, maybe it's to a new page, 
right? And they just use that URL, you know, nice and easy as a pop-up and you can subscribe and, you know, move on forward that way. Um, the way that we kind of like to do this and we recommend people do this, if you have, um, you know, if you've got the time and the web development resources is you can actually grab this embedded iframe. And so again, this is kind of just a simple little bit of code that allows you to embed this on your site. Your web developer will know exactly what to do with the iframe. And using this, you can actually put it onto your site. So, you know, our web developer and designer created a page here. And you'll see, you know, with all these various check marks and kind of sub items, you just wouldn't really be able to create this level of detail of what's being included using the widget with just its kind of simple list of checkboxes. And so everything on this page is a custom HTML. But then when you click on that subscribe, now we're just using this embed from that subscriptions page on our site. So you're still on zanata.com. You've not been redirected to subscriptions.zoho. And because we've done the embed, we're able to surface, again, any of these features and benefits that do come along with the product. Um, so generally speaking, we like doing it this way. This is how we do it ourselves. The widget also works perfectly. Um, you know, if you do just have a simple product page and you want to drop it in ASAP, um, but you have a lot of flexibility in terms of how you actually want to allow your customers to sign up for your various plans. All right. And with that, we're going to wrap it up. If you have any questions or comments, please head over to designata.com and drop us a line. And on the website is where you'll find all of our episodes of our podcast, where we cover all of the weekly news of Zoho every single Monday. Uh, we'll have links out to any of those updates. As always, we'd love if you would follow us on your favorite social media platform and subscribe to us on your favorite podcast app, as well as on YouTube. We'll see you next time.